which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. Guns. Self-defense. Conceal carry. This is the Patriot Defense Podcast. From the war room in Idaho's high desert, here's your host, Todd Eccles. And we are back. It is a Monday morning, and I'm tucked away in the war room somewhere in the high desert of southern Idaho. And I am back with your Patriot Defense, your yearly podcast. That's what it seems like. I know. Uh, no excuses. I'm just going to carry on. It is what it is. You guys will get them when I do them. That's the way that it works around here. So I um, hope you guys have all been doing well. Uh, we've been staying pretty busy here. Um, it's kind of starting to cool off, so I'm, I'm getting a lot more private classes, a lot more stuff going on. I'm trying to think of if I got any real big news. Let's see. The last uh, big class I had was my permit class, uh, Idaho Enhanced uh, Concealed Carry Permit class. Just like usual, I do one of those every month, and I got the greatest group of guys that comes by to help me uh, uh, do the shooting portion in the afternoon. But uh, what a great class. bunch of good shooters. We had some newer shooters. Uh, we got some wrinkles ironed out with them and got them well on their way. It was a safe class, and everyone left uh, happy and safe, and uh, no one left with any extra holes in them, which is a good thing in this in this uh, line, of, line of work. Um, so, yeah, there's that. It's that time of year. It is getting a little bit cooler out, and I have been uh, putting uh, a pencil to paper and uh, creating dates for my next women's groups, my next men's group for next year, getting those all lined out. I have released a couple of the registrations already, Have uh, um, and I'm getting ready to release some more this week. I got some big things uh, coming up for next year. I just got to kind of put some finishing touches on them and dial in a few of the details and uh, I will get that done hopefully in the next day or two, and then I will, I will tell you guys about that. So uh, keep an eye on that if you're in the area and you're looking at uh, getting signed up for, for any of these classes or if you are currently in one of my other classes because this could be a really cool um, opportunity for you. So I'm always trying to change everything up a little every year, make stuff be- better, kind of uh, refine it a little bit more and uh, bring more to the table as far as more um, you know, bring more to the table for Patriot Defense and, and offer uh, more to my students and the people that, uh, that, that trust me to, to their firearms education. So, um, you know, uh, I want to talk about a couple different things. Uh, I do a radio show on Fridays, and one of the big questions that we get all the time is about these Berna defense weapons, these, these, this less lethal o- option. So if you don't know what a Berna is it looks like a like a plastic it's a plastic gun is what it is and it is advertised as um, less lethal self-defense and it is a system that it will shoot these like kinetic energy balls they're I don't know they're about the size of a marble maybe a little bit bigger and it'll shoot those um, and supposed to inflict pain and help you in a defensive situation where maybe a firearm, maybe you don't have a gun, maybe you don't like guns, uh, but where something like that is, is is not available to you or you choose not to have it available uh, to you. And another thing that it also shoots is these little pepper balls. And the little pepper balls, they hit you, they explode, and it's got like pepper spray in in these little, these little balls. Now, you know, it's sometimes you got to be careful because when you get these bigger names, which this has some bigger names like pushing these products. And as when I go to the radio station and I do my radio show, part of the uh, general show for the week is a bunch of, you know, people that are really concerned about the political going on in the in the country and locally and 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 I get that and that's fine. But they're the guys that listen to like Dan Bongino and like Sean Hannity. And these are two of the names that are actually pushing these products. Now, what you also have to understand is that the people pushing said products are getting paid lots and lots and lots of money to to, to do so. Now, uh, for what it's worth, I, you don't have to get into it. I really am not a fan of Dan Bongino. Um, and I don't know about Sean Hannity. He just is kind of like another Glenn Beck. So I'm really, it is what it is. I kind of uh, get tired of those guys. Um, I kind of haven't listened to Glenn Beck for a long time. Um, but those guys are getting paid million. I mean, I almost say millions, but lo- I don't even know how much. Lots and lots and lots of money 
to to advertise and say that they enjoy these products and to put them out there. I mean, they're making money off of saying that these are great products. Whether they believe it or not, I don't know. What you're going to get from me is an unbiased opinion because I have not been paid to advertise for these people. I don't even own one. I used one the other day, though. And the reason why I did that is because uh, I get calls into the radio show all the time. These people talking about burner. Well, I think a burner is a good defense weapon. I think a burner is, 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 is good for this and good for that. And, you know, I think the burner is, is probably good for some things. But I don't think it's as good as what you think it is. And what happened is the guy that actually um, runs the radio show that I have my radio show on, he... Um, someone gifted him a burna gun and it was last friday and uh, we got it out on the air me and my co-host we got it on the air and we were looking at it and seeing how it worked it's co2 powered all this stuff um and we decided that during a commercial break we would go and we'd shoot ourselves with these kinetic balls to see what it was going to be like he shot me and i shot him type of situation and i'm going to tell you right now that was absolutely ridiculous it there was yeah, it, so I, I I posted the video um, of me getting shot, and it hurt. It did hurt for about two seconds, okay? It stung. Like, my Sims round, they hurt way worse uh, than that. And I don't even know. I have not a paintball guy, so I don't know how a paintball would feel. But this was not bad. I shot the other guy, and I ended up shooting him, right? He had a jacket on that had a zipper on it. And then he had like a flannel shirt underneath. So he's kind of a little bit padded. He told me he couldn't even feel it. He felt nothing, maybe a little pressure when it, when it would, when it struck, struck him, but that's it. That's all he felt. And even though I kind of arched my back, cause I, he, I let him shoot me in the back and I went, uh, ouch, literally for two seconds. I honestly don't think that that is going to bother anyone. I don't think it's going to hurt anyone. I don't think it's going to stop anyone. The at least the kinetic energy balls. Now, uh, the pepper balls. You know, yeah, that might, that, you know, done right, that might cause some issues uh, for said uh, um, attacker. But I also think that if you use that inside your house, you're going to get affected just as well once you release that that pepper gas, right? And I know there's been a lot of problems uh, with these in the past, not working, swelling up, not functioning like they should. And so if you're buying this thing and you're thinking that this is the ultimate option option uh, for you for self-defense, like it's better than nothing, but I don't know that I'd solely rely on it. I think too many people are going to depend on this where a gun should be what is is put into play in a, in, that, in, in, a, in certain situations. They're going to rely on this instead of a firearm. You know, you, you don't you don't do that. You don't, uh, you know, that old saying is you don't bring a knife to a, to a gunfight. Um, I just, I, I, that's what I think this is. I think this is going to get people hurt to be a hundred percent honest with you. And I think it has to do with the fact that it's being pushed by Sean Hannity. It's being pushed by, by a Dan Bongino. Like this is people see that and they think that this got, these people are getting paid tons of money, stacks of money to tell you how good this thing is. Okay, my my, ver my my thing is is if you got to pay someone tons of money to tell people how good it is, and it's probably it, it, it's going to work, but it's probably not as good as, as what they make it out to be, right? Because they are trying to push a product, they're trying to market this product, and I just don't think it's it's all it's cracked up to be. I, it's really not. Um, so be careful if you're going to rely on this thing, because I mean I think it's got a good uh, as far as. I think it'd be used in certain situations. Maybe the gas, the the the, the pepper gas balls. Maybe that would work a little bit. Um, and I think maybe if you had a, you know a, a deal with like a with like a dog in your yard or something like that, you know. But here's the thing: it's also I don't know about other states, but it says it's legal in all fifty states. States, and I think that it is. But if you look in the Idaho, without breaking it down and looking at it myself. I kind of have a somewhat of an idea of what it says. I believe in the state of Idaho, a firearm is considered anything that will fire a projectile, right? And so that's what this is going to do. And if you're out shooting this at a dog in your yard, you've essentially just fired a what? A a fired a weapon, fired a firearm, a a gun in town, and you could possibly get in trouble for it. I I don't know, but this is just I don't know. 
be careful with this. I hear so many people. This is these are the answers. These are the answers. It's I don't think it's the answer. I mean, I literally got shot with it and walked forward and picked it up and 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 used it on the other guy that was testing it out. Like it didn't stop me. Like it wouldn't have stopped me. It was an annoying. I was laughing when I got hit with it. I was laughing. I laughed. Okay, it didn't stop me at all. Left a little tiny mark, not even a bump, just a little tiny mark that went away by the next day. So just be careful with these. Just because they're marketed as, as, as such, I don't know that I'd 100% rely. I'm kind of glad that um, I ended up, uh, well, they ended up giving uh, this guy this at the radio station so I could take a look at it, so I could use it because... I was actually thinking about going and purchasing one. I don't know how much they are. I was going to purchase one and I was going to test it because I wanted to see how good or how not good it really was. And I'm telling you right now, I was not impressed. I'm not impressed at all. I don't think it's going to do anything for you. I think you're going to shoot someone and you may slow them down for a second, but there's been a lot of people that are like, they don't have guns. So they, they like get this instead. And uh, I, I think it's just going to piss somebody off. Like if you don't have a gun, and you shoot someone with a gun with one of these, uh, it's going to be pretty simple for them to raise their firearm up. And now they're even more pissed off than they normally were and, and, and use their firearm on you. And another thing, let's, let's talk about this. We shot it at a tree as well. We shot these kinetic energy balls at a tree. And I'm going to tell you the thing is consistent, consistently shoots seven inches high. <laughs> Even when, uh, I mean, he shot me and he was, he was, we aimed it at the tree and it was seven inches high. Shot me in the back and it hit seven inches high on me. I shot him, he, he was pointing at the center of my back. I pointed at the center of his, oh, kind of like down at the base of his, of his rib cage. And it shot seven inches high, actually seven inches high right. It, that's how it shot. Now, oh, the pepper ball is going to do the same thing. I don't know. You don't necessarily have to get a direct hit with a pepper ball. But then you add something that has a trigger that's like, eh, it's like a toy. It's not an actual fine trigger like an actual firearm has. And then you put them in a, a situation where they're just reefing on that trigger, trying to shoot that gun. And the thing's already seven inches from where you aim. That's where the point of impact is. Like, you're probably, there's a good chance you, you might actually miss your intended target. Like, it's... I don't know, man. Don't just be careful. You know, just because you hear all the infomercials on these radio talk shows of these guys that are supposed to have some kind of credibility. I don't think that that is the way. <laughs> That's not always the answer. That is not the way. And if I have one more person calling to my stupid, my, my radio show and, and, and tell me, oh, Berna, Berna, what do you guys think about the Berna? Damn it, I just did a test on it, and it's no good. I'm telling you right now, it is no good. It is it is not the tool that you think it is. Because and, and, that's all I'm hearing. It is not the tool that you think it is. Um, I think that Dan Bongino and I think that Sean Hannity were better off when they advertised for the Mantis. <laughs> buy a Mantis, get a firearm, buy a Mantis, attach the mantis to the firearm and do some dry fire training that's going to get you much further than the burna gun will get you in fact go check out the burna website sometime honestly and watch some of their videos and and see how they advertise this thing see how they try and sell this this stupid thing right it's it's absolutely it's absolutely ridiculous they're trying to use it in replace of the firearm they're trying to say that if they have a video uh, and, and it talks about a story about this guy. I said, no, these girls. Uh, they, they they pulled up to this mini mart or something in this car. When they came out, there was another car in the parking lot that looked exactly like theirs. I mean, how many times has that happened to you? It's happened to me, right? And they were just being, you know, high school kids, and they walked over to the car. I thought were there's opened the door to get into the car, and the guy was sitting there, and he drew his gun and he shot him. Right, so I think the guy's more at fault than necessarily the girls are uh, in, in that story. But they advertise that Berna advertises it as if you would have had a Berna, no one would be dead. So are they really pushing for firearms? I mean, pushing for Berna, or or is the bigger picture is maybe they're trying to advertise this as a less lethal, uh, a pepper ball, uh, kinetic energy uh weapon uh and that's going to replace firearms maybe they're anti-firearm i don't know if they are or not but maybe they're against firearms because that's how that little ad made it seem if you had a burner no one would be dead well uh, this is just uh, i don't know 
anyhow that's my PSA for that so you do uh, with that what you want to do but I just don't think it's it is not what it's cracked up to be so well I'll be honest I went on a little bit of a spending spree and if I'm already starting to spend money on things right now this is my winter does not bode well for me because uh, stuff slows down for me I come out here to the war room I work on my reloading and 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 kind of do class stuff on my computer and I tend to venture into you know Amazon or holster websites or gun websites or gun videos or whatever the net the, the, the new latest thing right I kind of I kind of go look at it and I, I spend money over the winter when it's too miserable and cold and snowy outside to do anything else well it seems to me that this last week I am already spending money more money oh I'm starting my money spending spree my, my spending spree right now this is not this is not bode well for my winter um so let's get into the things Todd has uh, irresponsibly purchased uh, within the last week. So uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, my son, he is turning 19. He has moved out, got a job, lives on his own now. And so I to- always told him that I would I would buy him his first handgun, right, when he was ready and everything like that. So he's, um, I ended up getting him. I talked about it. I got him the Echelon, and uh, he likes that. I put a dot on it, gave him some ammo, a cleaning kit, you name it. I bought him everything he needs for it eye ear protection all that good stuff except for a holster um so we had to kind of dial in what he was looking for in a holster and we talked about him carrying the gun and uh every now and then i like to just kind of poke around on on online and and try new things right so let's so i found this holster manufacturer and the name intrigued me (laughs) the name of the holster intrigued me but it's by a company called JX Tactical. Are they good? Are they bad? I have no idea. But I took one for the team, and I purchased a couple holsters from them. And I will let you know what I think of them. But they have a few different items, and I don't think they're a massive company. But they got good marketing. And uh, I bought him a holster, and I bought me a holster. Uh, they're both uh, appendix and the waistband holsters. And I got one that is called uh, the Fat Guy Holster. <laughs> because i ain't no spring chicken anymore i need to probably work on that but i bought the fat guy holster now this holster allows the firearm to sit lower it um has uh you can buy multiple clips for it you know the way that it attaches to your belt and i I really like that to have you know two or three options i can just switch in and out a lot of times you buy a holster you're stuck with your what you order and then you have to purchase said clips to add to it so I, I bought this holster, the Fat Guy holster. It hasn't got here yet. It should, probably should show up this week. So I'm anxious to try that out. And for all those asking, because I know there's a handful of people that are, what gun did you get it for? What gun did you get? Did you, did you get another holster for that VP9? No, I actually bought it for my P30. So that ought to make some people pretty excited. Um, and, uh, you know, Fat Guy holster, the gun rides a little lower. Uh, so it might make it just a smidge more uh, comfortable when I appendix carry. So I'm willing to try that out. Uh, so I'm planning on that. And then they had another holster that I bought for my son. And it was aptly named. My son is 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 skin and bones. Like he's he's real thin, um, you know, slender guy, muscular, but it, he doesn't have much body fat on him, but he's just he's not real thick, right? And uh, so I got him. The holster is called the skinny guy holster. So it's just opposite. It's a pretty minimal holster. It's gonna cover well. It's but it's like not as bulky. It's not as it's just it's just a lot less uh, thickness, right? For a skinny guy, right? For someone whose body type might calls might might call for that. So I don't know. I'm I gave those guys a try. Um, you know, I'll spend some money on a holster. The holsters weren't that bad. Um, they were. I think I spent on mine because I had some add-ons that I that I did with it. I think I spent like a hundred and nine dollars. Okay, I think my sons come in at right around ninety five dollars. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if they're good. We'll see if they're bad. I'll take the hit, and I'll let you know uh, what I think after I do some testing with it. Now I do know that locally we have a guy that makes custom holsters, and I know uh, podcast favorite Magnum. He really enjoys uh, doing business with that guy, and that is fantastic. Um, and you know, I I might get actually I got a, a new gun coming in, which I'll talk about shortly. That I may get. Uh, holster made by that gentleman for uh but i just always like to poke around and 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 try new things and see if see what else is out there so i thought these holsters were pretty reasonable price for what they were 
So, yep, they are on their way. Um, another thing I want to talk about is I have been venturing into, and I, this is weird, and I know uh, Magnum absolutely loves this, and I have gotten so many text messages, and I put up kind of a teaser post on Facebook about it the other day because why not? My posts have been lacking anyway. But I have been venturing into, and this is all started with me buying the gun that I refer to as as Richard or the Richard Ramirez, and that would be my T Sauce Night Stalker. And kudos to you if you understand why I call that gun Richard. Why well, I have named that gun Richard? If you know that, you could be a friend of mine. So, um, but that is a what? That is a 2011, 2411, whatever they call it, style gun. So it's a 1911 uh, action, right? And it's but it runs. It's a nine mil, but it's a double stack. So it's got a grip that fits my hand. And as much and as goofy as I always thought they looked, these um, magwell like uh, uh, flares right on the bottom, they are phenomenal for my hand. It locks my hand in, helps me get purchase of the firearm. And I will say that TSOS Richard is a f great shooting firearm. So that leads me to, Todd, you bought a 1911. You bought a 1911 type of gun. No, no, no. I bought a 2011. It's not a 1911. It's nine millimeter, not a freaking 45. And for those that want to dig back into history, it's not a 380. Um, so there you go. Uh, I will say that I have been uh, practicing with another gun I borrowed from a friend of mine. And I may have made a purchase, which may or may not show up this afternoon. And I will delve into that more when it gets here, but I am looking forward to that. Uh, you know, things change, things evolve over time. They evolve for the good, they evolve for the bad. I don't know what this is gonna be like. I have a, a pretty good feeling I'm, I'm gonna enjoy my purchase and I'm gonna like it, but it is a 1911, or if you wanna say what it truly is, it is a 2011 style firearm, which I am looking forward to getting my hands on and damn it, it's supposed to show up by noon today, and it better be there. I'll be honest, I paid lots of money for Priority Overnight and Gullible Me. I didn't realize that Priority Overnight doesn't start when you place the order. It starts when they ship it out. So if they ship it out the next day, you're going to get screwed. The gun is literally going to get here five days. <laughs> Not overnight. Not overnight. But five days later than what you thought, I, I purchased this thing on a Thursday. I thought I could get it here Friday. It didn't ship out till Friday. And it's been sitting in Utah, Salt Lake to be exact, uh, for like, oh, well, since Friday. <laughs> and it has not moved. So it's supposed to be here today. And I keep updating, checking that tracking number, updating, updating, up as far as I'm It's either in transit or it's still sitting in Salt Lake. But it's supposed to be here by noon today. And so fingers crossed. I got sucked into that. Paid a lot of money. Paid a lot of more, uh, a, a chunk more for overnight. And I did not get it irritating i tried to get magnum to to go up and uh go on a covert rescue mission with me over the weekend um in fact i hit him up yesterday and he refused i said we need to get to salt lake we need to um make our way into the fedex building and we need to secure and rescue my firearm that they are keeping hostage he was not interested in helping me out, so whatever. I got to find a better friend, I guess. Dang it, Magnum. But anyhow, when that firearm gets here, I'm sure a lot of you know what it is if you pay attention to my my posts. Uh, but when it gets here, I will do another podcast and talk about it, and I will talk about some com some comparisons that I have made with it to other guns I have or other fire or, or my other my actual current carry uh, gun. So uh, just some interesting comparisons. And uh, we'll just kind of go from there. So anyhow, it is a short podcast. Uh, sorry about that. It is what it is. Um, I'm looking at my list here of stuff I need to talk about. I know there is a ton of political. Let's back up to there. I know that there is a ton of political stuff out there. I could talk about the second assassination attempt on Trump. I could talk about all this stuff, right? But I am not really in the mood to talk about political uh, stuff right now. I'm just, I'm just not. 
So we are going to just not worry about that right now. And uh, that'll leave. Uh, I, I do have some interesting thoughts on some things. And I'm going to kind of let that percolate for a little while, work up some ideas about that, take some notes. And when I'm ready to bring that onto the air, I will definitely do so. Um, I think it's, you know, I think it's getting ready to, it's percolating. And I think it's getting ready to come to a, a full boil. And when it does, I may pop back on here later on. Uh, this week, maybe midweek with uh, with another podcast for you. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know. Maybe I'll shut the freaking burner off and it won't do nothing. We'll find out. So thanks for listening to the podcast. I do appreciate it. Share it with your family. Share it with your friends. And uh, yeah, that's how we're going to grow the podcast. Everyone, you guys get out there. You have a good week. Enjoy the cool weather. Hopefully it's cooling down where you're at. And I will talk to you later. Bye.